Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 271. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 268, 265. Hey, in this one, we have, uh, we want to do conditional formatting and we have some uh, text strings here, a big long formula. And it, from these dates, creates this text string. But what we want is we want red wherever there's 11 months or greater and blue wherever there's uh, greater than or equal to 20 days. And then I'm going to do purple also when both conditions are met. Now let's go over to a blank and see this formula here. This uses dated if. And if you want to watch a whole video just on dated if and the amazing power of this function, uh, you can search my site or uh, download this work and there's notes at the top about how to get to that video. But here it is. Uh, this is the month part right here. And what it's doing is it's taking the um, the uh, date of birth and then looking at today's date and year months means how many months are there past uh, a, a whole inch integer year so this person is how old they're they're uh, 34 years old so this part right here year is saying to the data if hey take that 34 and throw it out and just count the months above 34 years so watch this we can scoop this out of this formula and copy it and in our um, conditional formatting we can just do a true false this is greater than or equal to 11 I'm gonna click escape highlight the whole range in the active cell right there I'm going to alt OD that's the keyboard shortcut for conditional formatting alt OD new rule click on the formula and click in this in 2003 you just click in the first text box and to the drop down and point to formula is I'm gonna type in equal and then control V and then greater than or equal to and I'm gonna click on my 11 these have to be relative and that has to be absolute now this one's supposed to be red so I'm gonna click uh, format fill which used to be patterns I'm gonna select red font color I'll say white click OK, click OK, click OK. And sure enough, that worked. Now I'm going to go scoop out um, because we need another part. We need the day part, right? And so this dated if right here, it's saying count all of the months and then throw them out and only the days that are above the last whole number month. And please uh, calculate that. That's what the dated if does. I'm going to copy that, escape, highlight the whole range. The active cell is right there, Alt OD. I'm going to click New Rule, and here I'm going to say equals Control V, greater than or equal to this 20, and I need a blue here. Blue. I'll put uh, more colors, and I'll select that blue right there. Font. I'm going to select that one right there. Now um, I'm actually going to uh, scoop this out right here because we're going to have to use this in just a second. So we have two of them. But what happens when uh, we have uh, both conditions are met? What if we want to apply a format different that says, hey, both of them are met? Well, we're actually going to have to um, do both of those logical tests inside an AND function. I'm actually going to click in this cell here and type space and then control V. That way the space won't activate this as a formula. So I got that one, and then I'm going to um, highlight here an Alt-O-D. This is like cheating, right? And then double-click, scoop this one out. I could have typed them out. Cancel, close. Um, then I'm going to click right here, Control-V, space. Get rid of that right there. Now I'm going to need both of these inside of an AND. I'm going to type a comma. See, I'm such a bad typer that I have to do all these tricks where I know how to you know, copy and paste and stuff instead of retyping it. But I'm going to copy this because in uh, these are two true falses. And if we put them inside of an AND, the AND function will say, if both are true, then the AND will say true. I'm going to copy, escape. I'm going to highlight these. And in the active cell at the top, it's hard to tell in this new version where the active cell is right there. Alt O D new rule I'm gonna say equals and 
open parentheses, control V, close parentheses. And I'm going to do purple. Purple fill, I'm going to say purple because red and blue make purple, right? All right, and then OK, and then OK, and then OK. And sure enough, that one is both. So that's a little bit about conditional formatting on uh, some cells that are not the cells that you're formatting, the dated if and and for conditional formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.